Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you had a great break. So when you get to number nine, now you're gonna do more than one transformation at a time, okay? So let's work out number nine together. First, let's graph the original triangle. So plot the point D, E, and F. So I plotted my points. Now I'm gonna do the first part, which is a reflection. So in blue, I'm going to reflect it across the x-axis. Okay, well, this is your x-axis here. So now, remember, let's look at D. If I'm one square away from the x-axis, my new D is gonna be one square on the other side. So this would be called D prime. Okay, and then my new E, if E is two squares away from the x-axis, two squares on the other side, that would be my E prime. And F is, how many squares away is F? Seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven on the other side would be my new F. So that would be F prime. Okay, let me connect those. Okay, so now we did part A, but the next thing they want me to do is rotate it, and in order to rotate it, I'm gonna be rotating the blue shape, okay, to get a third shape now, but in order to rotate it, it might be easier if I knew the coordinates. So I'm gonna write down the coordinates that we have for the blue shape first. So these are the coordinates after we did the first step, just the reflection. I noticed I probably shouldn't have written the prime symbols yet though, because we're not there yet. We should wait till the end. Okay, so now we're gonna take that blue shape and to get our final answer, we have to do the rotation of the blue shape. You now ignore the red one, okay? So I'm gonna take these guys right here and do my rules for a 180 degree rotation, which remember that just changes all the signs. So if D was negative six, one, it's now going to be six, negative one. Change the signs of your E, it'll now be three, negative two, and F will be five, negative seven. Then graph the, this final shape and that will be your answer. D prime is six negative one, E prime is three negative two, and F prime is the last one. Connect them and I am done. That's my favorite part. So all you're doing in this last part, you're just doing more than one problem at once, okay? And we'll work again on this tomorrow. So don't stress out too much because these are a little bit time consuming. So do the best you can to finish the next three on your own. Good luck, guys.